Hello, Trey Zipper here with By Memorial Day, raising awareness about what's happening to our veteran headstones in local, private, municipal cemeteries all across the country. To achieve my objective, I've decided to cross America, stopping in each state, take a look at cemeteries and just see what the veteran headstones look like in areas outside of mine. My assumption is that all the veteran headstones in America have been forgotten and neglected. And so far, my assumption has been correct. Every cemetery I've stopped in so far has had veteran headstones covered in black algae, bird droppings, other types of grime. It's pretty pathetic. But I got to this cemetery, the Minden Cemetery, Minden, Louisiana. And I found, just as I expected, World War I, World War II, Spanish-American War, Civil War, headstones covered in disgrace. But I knew that I had a certain headstone that was waiting for me to find it. And I noticed this cross, white cross here in this open grassy field, drew me in. I know why, but I get to this section, I'm looking, oh, there's a, one of those white marble upright headstones like we see in Arlington. So I started walking this direction, but something told me to look to the left. And I look to the left, don't really see anything at first, but then I notice a cross, not easy to distinguish, but I walk over to this grave marker. It's a granite grave marker. Can't read the man's first name, but I see the last name. I look over to the corner, I see 1945. Don't know if you can see this or not. Pull back the grass just a little bit to reveal uh, April 30th, 1945. And he's born 1925. My grandfather was born in 1925. He served in World War II. So I look him up on findagrave.com. Killed in action, Battle of Okinawa. I want you to look at this. This is a man who made the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom, for our country. And this is how we show our respects as a grateful nation. Now, I'm borderline ticked off now. So I hope that you'll be as ticked off as I am about what's happening in our cemeteries with our veteran headstones and grave markers. If this is something that you think needs to be addressed, I need you to get up off your couch right now and get out to your local cemeteries and find these veteran headstones. Watch my videos on bymemorialday.com. Read the protocol issued by the National Cemetery Administration about how to properly clean and maintain these veteran headstones and grave markers. Notice there's no flag on this young man who was killed in action for our freedom. I think this is about Ridiculous that we don't have an American flag marking this man's grave. Had I not been drawn to this white cross and just happened to look over and see another cross, I would not have known that an American hero is buried here. I've written a, uh, an amendment to the United States flag code. I hope you'll support that. And what that amendment says is that it's okay to fly the American flag, to display the flag at an American veteran's grave 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year, without the need for illumination. So get with your local congressman in your district, contact the President of the United States is who has to sign that amendment and make it a change to the United States flag code. But we need to raise our level of respect and appreciation for these American veterans, for these heroes, they didn't all die in service to our country, but they lost something on those battlefields. They never were the same, and even if they never saw combat, they were there prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice if called upon to do so. So it's time that we wake up America and we change the way that we're facing our cemeteries and the graves of our heroes. The greatest generation's almost gone. We've only got a few of them left. And when they're gone, they're gonna end up looking like this all of them so someday someday soon i hope that we'll be able to have every one of these veteran headstones in america cleaned with a fresh brand new bright flag displayed at their grave 365 days a year 
And every year, we're gonna come out and make sure that by Memorial Day, these headstones and grave markers are in a respectable condition. Uh, no different than what we see at Arlington and the rest of our national cemeteries. This is on us. This isn't the government's problem. This isn't for our city or our county or somebody else to do. This is for you to do. This is for me to do. I've cleaned over 2,000 of these veteran headstones with volunteers in my local community. People do show up. So if you become the organizer in your local area and you spread the word, people will show up in force to help you. If you own a cemetery or you're in charge of a cemetery, I want you to look closely. I want you to look closely at this veteran grave marker. And then I want you to tell me why you think that this man who was killed in action on Okinawa doesn't deserve to have a clean grave marker and doesn't deserve to have an American flag flying at his headstone. I don't mean place the flag one time and walk away and leave it to turn into trash. I'm talking about making it a point to place that flag and come back every so often and make sure that flag's in good condition when it needs to be replaced. You spend the dollar and 35 cents to put a new flag up. It's about $4 per year to fly a flag at someone's grave who gave the ultimate sacrifice for our freedom. So I don't think that's too much to ask. Um, there's only a limited number of these veterans out there uh, that need their graves tended to that are in private and municipal cemeteries. So with 330 million Americans, we really don't have any excuse about why we can't make this happen. Uh, we just need one out of 100 Americans. The other 99 of you, you sit back there and do whatever it is you do that you think's important in life. The one out of 100, join me and get out here and get this done. I'm asking you to get it done. Please do this for our, our country needs this. Our country's in trouble right now. We need to come together and these veterans, doesn't matter if they're white, black, Native American, Hispanic, doesn't matter who they were. If you read the Bible and you read in Genesis, we're made, God made us in our image. It's plural, okay? There's not just one, one human look that God created. God created all of us. He created us in His, in, in, not in His image, in our image. Read it, get out your Bibles, it's plural. I got to believe that that means that God is not just one. We know that there's, a, there's three. There's God, there's Jesus, and there's the Holy Spirit, the Trinity. And so when they make us in our image, that's why we look different, people. That's why we have different looks of humans. We're all humans. We're all part of the same same people we're all created by god so let's get out here to these veterans i don't care again what this person looked like i don't even know what this soldier looked like don't care all i know is that he served my country he made this country something that that i enjoy today that my children enjoy and that future generations will enjoy and so I want to honor him. I want to honor all of our veterans. I hope you'll agree. I hope you'll join me. I'm Trey Zipperer with By Memorial Day. Visit us at bymemorialday.com or visit our Facebook page, By Memorial Day.